In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and extract the files, the images, out of a bundle that you've purchased at Incomeweek.com. Uh, hopefully you've received your confirmation email after purchase, and in the email there's a link where you can begin the download of your bundle. I'm just going to click on that, give it a second, and as I can see here, it begins the download. Now, please note that download uh, sizes of the files range anywhere from about 200 megabytes all the way up to we've had them as high as four or five gigabytes before. Usually they're um, closer to the, the 500 to one gigabyte range. That just means that it's going to take a, a long time for you to download, so don't be surprised if it could take up to an hour, it could take up to three or four hours depending on how quick your internet connection is. Do your best to just let the the download continue. Um, hopefully you're doing this in a place where there's solid internet. I, I hope at home. Uh, please don't try downloading this at a coffee shop with you know unreliable internet. Please don't try downloading this through your mobile phone or your iPad or tablet computer. Um, those usually result in either not downloading at all or they just, you know, they basically sometimes just don't finish. So you want to make sure you have great internet when you download this file and that you give it a long time. Um, I'm going to pause the video right now because it is going to take a few hours to download and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to open it and get the images out of it. So our download has finished downloading and now it's time to get access to the images that are inside. Again, we're on Windows here and I'm assuming you're on Windows 2 because you've chosen to watch this video. If you have a Mac and you want the Mac version, we have another video for that. But this is the, the Windows one, so I'm going to open my file explorer. And on Windows, that's located usually on the bottom of your taskbar, or you can click the My Computer icon on your desktop. Find a way, um, you know, if I click on the Start menu, for instance, I can also get there by going to File Explorer here. And you're going to want to know where your browser usually places downloads. For my browser, and for most people's browser, it will put it in the downloads folder. But you may have to do some searching to figure out where that is and um, you know where normally your downloads end up. So let's open the downloads folder. Here we have the file, Hello Spring. We can see that it's a 328 megabyte file, and it's a compressed zip file, which means it should, in some cases, it would have a dot .zip at the end, even though it's not being displayed here, um, the file is actually a dot .zip. So what this means is that this is not a folder right now, it's just a file. And so our first instinct might be to just double click this, and we could see that by doing so we can see a lot of the files in here. But the problem is that we can't edit the files in here. If we open this in a program, um, we can only preview files, we cannot actually make changes to them, you know, convert them to another type of file very easily, make changes to the size, etc. We can't, we can't do much with these. So the first thing we want to do is actually extract the entire folder. So let's go back until we get back to the file. Okay, here we are at the file. So yeah, double clicking, it, it does look like it's working and it does allow you to preview what's inside here, but it's not the way I recommend. The way I recommend is to right click with your mouse and go to the extract all. Now it's going to ask, do we want to create this folder here? Yes, we do. And it'll say, do we want to show the extracted files when we're complete? Yes. Click extract and give it up to, you know, two minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, it could even take longer depending on how large the file is. Great, so it's almost done. And now it's going to create a new little window for us and show us just the folder that's in here. Now I'm going to close this for now just to, to give you an idea of what's happening. Here's the original file. It's a single file, remember. That's what you downloaded. And then this is a new folder that was created. Same name, but actually you can see the little manila it means it's a folder here. So if I double click this now, this is a folder where I can actually start working with these images. I can go into different folders, I can uh, see that this is a JPEG here, this is a PDF here, and if I want to I can open these up in you know various programs such as an Adobe Photoshop program, 
uh, a reader, uh, maybe a, a Adobe Reader, I can open them up in a Silhouette Studio, different types of um, photo editing software that's out there, and you know, you're welcome to choose whichever one you're most comfortable with and uh, that works for you. So feel free to go in here now and you can edit these files as you like, make changes to them, changes to the size, etc. And the nice thing about this is that if you do either accidentally delete uh, an image that you, um, you know, that was in the, the bundle, uh, or if you change the settings in a way where you wish you hadn't, maybe now you've made a change, you've saved it, and you want to go back to the original, the nice thing is that you can always go back to your downloads folder, um, and this is the original one, and you can just extract that. Uh, make another copy by, um, I would maybe add a 2 here so that you know the difference, and then you can get all of the original files again uh, intact. So that's the nice thing about having and keeping this uh, file around the Hello Spring or whatever the name of your bundle is. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to open images on your Windows computer. Thanks so much for watching.